Good Monday morning, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, the sun is shining here in um, in Sacramento for the first time in in many days. It seems like. Anyway, um, you might notice that I'm holding up a sign that says "Warning: Satire uh, is about to begin." Uh, Many times when uh, these little videos appear on YouTube and and uh, things like that, that they uh, they show a still a screenshot of the opening scenes here. So I I really want uh, to make sure that uh, everyone sees this <laughs> at the very beginning, because what I'm going to do, what I, what I found in in my uh, in my records is something that I wrote uh, up for uh, Monday night class many, many, many years ago. Uh, and I had shoved away in an essay uh, folder someplace, something that's never been published or anything like that, because it's uh, uh, truly just kind of silly. And uh, But anyway, it has something to do with the satanic panic and uh, the phenomena of uh, conspiracy theories and things like that. Now, the, the the big satanic panic time period that we're thinking, uh, uh, most people think of is, uh, you know, mostly the 80s and 90s um, when the, uh, there was truly uh, uh, a wave of his, hysteria. Uh, which, of course, uh, like the McMartin preschool uh, uh, s scandal and everything else, just ruined, ruined people's lives. Just literally like a witch hunt, okay? And uh, uh, yeah, criminals, uh, they, they go through their libraries and they go through their, their uh, library records and stuff and, and uh, see what kind of books they had and if they had... A, books by Crowley or something like that, they, uh, they say, see, oh, it's a satanic conspiracy here. And um, it was, uh, it wasn't a laughing matter. Okay. First of all, it wasn't a laughing matter. And, uh, oh, I guess I can put this down right now. Uh, but uh, it was so absurd that uh, to real occultists, uh, it uh, it bordered on being funny if it hadn't been so so uh, uh, tragic and ruined so many people's lives. And uh, uh, about that same time, uh, oh well, first of all, Crowley, the the wickedest man in the world, the man we'd like to hang, and all of all of that. Crowley was was never charged with a crime. He was never convicted of a crime. As as uh, citizens go, he was a pretty damn upright citizen. So even the great beast never committed uh, uh, crimes uh, any more serious than. Uh, uh, overestimating the intelligence of his enemies. But uh, uh, yeah, Bobby Kennedy was assassinated by Sirhan Sirhan. And uh, for a while, they, they went through Sirhan Sirhan's apartment and found out that, that uh, he had Rosicrucian Order Amorc monographs. He, he had taken the correspondence course or something like that. And so then it cast negative aspersions on uh, something as harmless and as innocuous as, as that organization. It's not a laughing matter. But sometimes I see that everything is sort of a laughing matter. One thing that's not a laughing matter is serial killers and, and mass murders. Okay. And uh, back in the 90s, in early, uh, uh, the early 90s, uh, 
the Wichita, Kansas police finally put an end to a 10-year murder spree uh, that they called the, the BTK serial killer uh, bind, torture, kill. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put this sign up, uh, warning, satires. And they finally caught the guy. Everybody was very, very uh, uh, relieved and happy in, in Kansas and around the country that they finally caught this guy. Here's what the uh, Wikipedia actually uh, says about that period. Uh, his name was Dennis Lynn Radder, R-A-D-E-R, -A -A -E born uh, March 9th, 1945 is an American serial killer known as the BTK, an abbreviation he gave himself for bind, torture, kill. The BTK strangler, or the BTK killer. Between 1974 and 1991, now that's like the satanic panic heyday, he killed 10 people in Wichita and Park City, Kansas, and sent taunting letters to police and media outlets describing the details of his crimes. After a decade-long hiatus, Rader, or Rader assumed, resumed sending letters in 2004, leading to his 2005 arrest and subsequent guilty plea. He's currently serving 10 consecutive life sentences at El Dorado Correctional Facilities. Wikipedia goes on to say, in May 1991, Dennis Radder became a dog catcher. This is not the satire, this is the, this is the Wikipedia article. Ratter became a dog catcher and compliance officer in Park City. In his position, neighbors recalled him as being sometimes overzealous and extremely strict, as well as taking special pleasure in bullying and harassing single women. One neighbor complained that Ratter killed her dog for no reason. And it finally ends with this. Radder was a member of Christ Lutheran Church in Wichita and had been elected the uh, president of the church council. He was also a Cub Scout leader. Now that's the end of the, uh, of the article. When I just when I read that story, I had to think to myself, God, what if this guy had been a, you know, a Rosicrucian or a Martinist or God forbid a, a Thelemite or an OTO member or something. Oh my God, what, would, what they would do with, with that story. Here's what I thought they might do with that story. Do you see the sign? Okay, I'll, I'll hold it up again a little later. Lutheran Council President Binds, Tortures, Kills, Confesses. Let's see, I've got to make it look like a newspaper article there, see. Okay. Wichita, Kansas, AP. Police say they are confident that the arrest of a man suspected of being the BTK serial killer will end after 30 years of fear. Dennis L. Radder, 
identified by authorities as a Lutheran and Cub Scout leader, was arrested Friday and allegedly confessed to six of the infamous Bind, Torture, Kill murders that have terrorized this Kansas community since 1974. A source close to the investigation told the Associated Press on Sunday. Radder, 59, could appear in court as early as Monday to stand in front of a judge on video while prosecutors recite a yet-to-be-filed criminal charges against him. Quote, The guy is telling us about the murders, the source said on conditions of anonymity. Police spokeswoman Lorraine Turner refused to comment on reports that search of the Radders Park City home uncovered a stockpile of Lutheran and Cub Scout literature and paraphernalia. But Assistant District Attorney Nola Binky was not so resident. She commented, quote, Evidence of Christ worship was everywhere in the Radder home. Most disturbing was the discovery of multiple copies of the black bound Bible. The confusing and violently gruesome text that has ignited hatred, bloodshed, and human suffering on a global scale for thousands of years. Unquote. Fulton excuse me, Binky could not hide her disgust when she added, quote, if a serial killer ever wanted a how-to textbook of torture mur and murder, it's that damned book, unquote. Part of Ratter's confession is reported to be his admission that he learned to tie the knots he used to bind his victims in the Cub Scout handbook. As leader of the paramilitary band of underage boys, Radder had unrestricted access to the cult's manual of bondage and animal abuse, as well as a limitless supply of practice rope. Cub Scout ritual uniforms and costumes <laughs> filled Radder's bedroom closet, including a ceremonial sash displaying the numerous merit badges that most likely tallied, tallied the Christ worshippers litany of innocent victims. Quote, the mass, excuse me, the vast majority of Adolf Hitler's Nazi party were card carrying Lutherans. The death and resurrection cult founded in the 16th century by defrocked priest and outspoken anti-Semite Martin Luther, unquote, said <laughs> said Wichita Mayor Nancy Whitaker, as were most of the feared SS officers who carried out the day-to-day -day mass murder activities of the Holocaust. I can't believe that a nest of Lutherans has existed in our town for so many years without attracting the attention of authorities." Unquote. That's what I did one night for Monday night class. I threw that together. Now, I please remember, well, let me just, change my message here to that was satire. We live right next door to a Lutheran church and they are lovely, lovely people and yeah, no. As we uh, often hear, I'll paraphrase, some of my best friends are Lutherans. So I just wanted to show you how ridiculous it would be 
that you could take most any innocuous philosophy or belief system and uh, and turn it into a monstrous uh, interpretation of whatever you wanted to fill in the blanks with, including pizza huts and things like that. Anyway, that's my Monday morning excursion and uh, small s sermon on conspiracy theory consciousness. Until tomorrow. Continue to be good to yourself, be good to each other. Do what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will.